for. I'm going to show you how to make a mallet. Now you could ask, well, why do I need a mallet if I could just get a piece of wood, just a hammer? Well, actually, that's a very good thought. You could probably just get a piece of wood and use it as a hammer. But obviously, if you're working with younger children, you, that's going to be too big for them to grip. So what you actually need to do is to um, make a handle that fits their hand size and then they can use it as a hammer. So you might wonder um, also what's this not very nice plastic thing doing around the mallet. Actually, we just more recently with a, a really early years group, we felt that again, a bit like the palm drills and sometimes knives that are green in their casing, we just wanted to put something um, bright so that we could easily find them in the woodland because they look like a piece of wood. Again, my hand goes through and I start to saw about a centimetre in there, turning it, doing the same. If I go too far in, I might just split the wood all the way down. The stop cut is there is to stop the cut. So when I bang it in, it should stop where I've cut, cut it in. I'm just going to tap here in the middle and I can probably increase my tapping all the way down. Again, sheath off, elbows on knees and I might just simply, a bit of a punch grip for me, do this and, and I might want to just round off my, my nice handle. So off we go doing this. I might think, oh that's a bit difficult, go to the side. Always thinking about the body position.